This film is an introduction to the Lens Set 100 DCC digital system. So the Set 100 consists of two components. You've got the LZV100, which is your command station, and you've got the LH100, which is the, the control handset. I've connected the power as using a TR100 3 amp transformer wired into U and V. You can use the larger TR150 uh, 5 amp transformer if you wish, if you need extra power. Particularly useful for large layouts and uh, for O gauge if you need it. Sometimes when you first connect a system it might start up in the emergency stop situation so you'll have flashing else or off on the screen and the LED on the LZV100 will be flashing. So to clear that, press the ST button, the stop button, and you see the screen comes back and the light starts flashing. It goes back to steady now. If it doesn't clear, then just check that there isn't anything causing a short on the track outputs. So, yeah, if in doubt, disconnect J and K see if it clears then. In most instances your first decoder fitted locomotive will be delivered on address 3 so factory setting for factory fitted decoders and for plug-in decoders is usually address 3 so we've got that selected on the screen and the, the decoder in this locomotive here is on that setting so we can Look at the controls, so you've got direction of travel, forwards and backwards, and that's changed over with the double arrow button. You can accelerate by small steps using this up arrow, or by larger steps using the double arrow, and you can decelerate using the small and double arrow buttons here. If I reverse the direction and we'll start it rolling. So, small accelerations and small decelerations, large accelerations, large decelerations. If you feel it's getting away from you, you can stop the loco by pressing the double arrow. And if things are going to pot on the layout, you can actually pull an emergency stop with the red button and that will stop absolutely everything. Once you've cleared the problem, if you press stop again, it will resume where it was. The LH100 has a handset stack of 12 locomotives. So by pressing the escape key here, you can go through all the, the storage slots. If you hold it, it will tell you which slot you're in, and when you release it, it will show the loco address that's in that slot. So this is stack number 12. If we press CL to clear it, we can type in the number of a locomotive there, and press Enter, and now in that stack position that you always go back to that address so if I quickly flip round we'll come back to slot number 12 there we are so that address I've just typed in if you want to just change it back or change it to another address again just press CL to clear it so that means you don't have to keep typing the addresses you've got these storage slots to put a number of locomotives into So for the next part of my film, I've modified my arrangement here. So I've now put in a bigger bit of track as my main track, which is wired to JNK. And I've also introduced a shorter bit of track as my programming track. So that is wired into P and Q. Now the purpose of a programming track is to set up decoders. So the first thing you'd want to do is to change the address on the locomotive. 
On the Lent system, the programming track is not powered except for when it's sending instructions to the decoder. It's quite a useful safety feature, um, particularly if you've soldered a decoder in um, it's a nice way of checking it out and making sure that you've got no shorts or any problems with the installation even on new locos it's still quite nice to use a programming track so the main track out here so that's just powered up oops derailed okay what we'll do is move the loco across to my programming track Got reasonable contact with the rails. Okay, so we're going to go into the menu to do programming. So if we press the F button here, and you can scroll around these menus using plus and minus, so there's various options within them. If you want to come out, press escape. Escape always goes back up one level. So if we go into the menu again and scroll around until we've got PROG for programming. If we press enter, it will start flashing. Press enter again to confirm that you want to do this operation. DIR is usually the first thing in the menu that comes up. Again, you can use plus and minus to scroll around. And DIR is the direct menu. So if I press enter to go into that, and the first option there is always address. So again, if it's not on ADR for address, just scroll around until you find it. And press enter. So A star, it's ready to look at the decoder. Um, want to read it first, so what I'll do is press enter. And it's reading the decoder. You notice the loco twitches along the track as the power is applied just to read out the decoder instructions. We've come up showing this as address 3. If I escape out there. One thing to notice actually is that when the programming track is in operation, the rest of the system shuts down. So that the main track is put on emergency stop and the light will flash on the unit. Um, when you escape all the way out of programming, you'll go back to normal running. So we'll quickly go back in there and change that address. So press F, program, program, direct menu, ADR. I'm going to change the address to the cab number, which is 251. You can put in up to four digits in the direct menu. So there we are, we've changed the address. I'll escape out of there and put her back on the main track. See where a railer would be handy? Right, so you'll see she doesn't respond to three anymore. So if we clear that, two, five, one, Oops, we're not on the track, are we? There we are. Okay. Now we come to the real fun of DCC Digital Control. So it's the fact that you can control several items at once on the same line. Um, so we can start oops him rolling the right way so start him moving away if i go across to a, a new locomotive so this other loco is on address three here and this locomotive has digital controllable functions so sound well, that comes in got lights got digital smoke generator coming on We won't forget the other loco, so while he's coming towards the end of the track there, we will scroll around.
and stop them there. So this loco has got about 20 functions and you can control 28. So if we function bar 1 there is 0 to 9, 10 to 19 and then up to 28 on the third bar. So that's function 15 there. So if we go back to 1 we'll Start moving. Go forward. Bring him back. So the functions there we can turn back off. So now you're ready just to have some fun driving the locomotives on your track.